Chapter 7, Right Triangle Trigonometry. Lesson 7-7, seven, seven. Solve Right Triangles. To solve a triangle means to find all the unknown angles and sides. You can do this for a right triangle if you know two sides or one side and one of the acute angles. And you solve it by using sine, cosine, tangent, Pythagorean theorem, the angle sum theorem. Remember the angle sum theorem is the sum of angles is 180 degrees. To find the angles, though, you'll have to use the inverse trigonometric functions. And these are used to find the angles. You use the inverse ratios to find the angles. When you're looking for the angles, you use the inverse. This little negative one here means inverse. You use the inverse to find the angle. When you're looking for the angle, you find the inverse. The only time you use the inverse when you're looking for the angle. Otherwise, it's the same. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent still. So let's find d to the nearest tenth if sine of d is 0.54. So I am looking for the measure of an angle. To find the measure of an angle, you must use the inverse. So it will be inverse sine of 0 0.054. So inverse sine of 0 0.54 is about 32.7 degrees. Remember, it's an angle that we looked for. So it's degrees. Let's try another one. Find the measure of angle C. Again, we're looking for an angle, so we will use an inverse. All right, so there's my angle I'm looking for, C. What do we have? We have an opposite. 20 is opposite. We have an adjacent. The 15 is adjacent. Opposite and adjacent. Is that sine, cosine, or tangent? That's right. It's tangent. So tangent of C is the opposite over the adjacent. So tangent of C is 20 over 15. So to find the angle, we use the inverse tangent. So the inverse tangent of 20 over 15 is approximately 53.1 degrees. So here is a right triangle. It has a 40 degree angle and a 20 inch hypotenuse. So solve it. That means we need to find everything else. Well, what's the easiest? Probably say saying finding the angle B would be the easiest. So um, if I add together all the angles, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180, we find out that angle B is 50 degrees. All right, now we need to find the others. All right, so the 20 is the hypotenuse. Let's find AC. AC would be adjacent to the 40 or opposite the 50. Now, I'm going to use the 40 because they gave that to us. What if, for some reason, we messed up in finding the measure of angle B? Then if we use that to do the rest of the problem, we would mess those up too. So I'm going to try to stick with just the numbers they gave us. I'm going to try to use just the 40 and the 20. All right, so using the 40 and the 20, uh, AC is the adjacent 
I have the adjacent and hypotenuse. Adjacent and hypotenuse is? That's right, cosine. Cosine of our angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So I can say cosine of 40 degrees is the adjacent, AC, over the hypotenuse, 20. Put it over 1 and cross multiply. AC is 20 times cosine of 40 degrees. Put that in the calculator and AC is about 15.3. Now let's find BC. From my 40 degree angle, BC is the opposite. So using the opposite and the hypotenuse, which I know, opposite and hypotenuse is, that's right, sine. Sine of the angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of 40 is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So over 1 and cross multiply, BC is 20 times sine of 40, which is approximately 12.9. And we have now solved this right triangle. We found all the sides and all the angles. Have a good day.